I was good with it. I know it's Prime Day. I know this, but y'all know I don't really even go too hard for like Prime Day, Black Friday. What is it in Canada? Enough with Canada! Boxing Day. I don't really go for that. I just want to help people save money all year long. And today I got a 30 inch gaming monitor. I think you're gonna want to take a look at. Now I know I got two monitors over here. Don't worry about this one down here on the bottom. This is a 4K 32 inch monitor that I'm reviewing for content creation and actually watching content on. So make sure you subscribe to see about that coming out. But today we're taking a look at this. This is the E305B. It's a 30 inch 1080p IPS monitor. You see it's in the ultra wide 21 by nine aspect ratio, and you can get up to 210 Hertz for your gaming. So right off the top, you got a mixture of specs that look pretty promising, especially if you can get them at a low enough rate with a high enough performance to make it worthwhile. Real quick disclaimer, this video was being shot before any of the actual Prime Day deals are actually released. So I'll try to leave some links in the description, which I suggest you check so you always get up to date pricing information because these things fluctuate Prime Day or not. All right, so we're gonna do things in reverse. I usually wait to the end of the video to give you my overall thoughts and opinions, but I wanna quickly summarize my experience using this monitor and what it's been like for me on a day-to-day -day basis before we get into some of the nitty gritty. I've been using the 30 inch ultra wide as my primary gaming monitor for the last few weeks, man. And I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised. I reviewed a bunch of Scepter monitors here on this channel and I know that they really focus on bringing the value, but not always the best performance. And I gotta say, just for a solid 1080p gaming monitor with some interesting specs, this 30 inch fits the bill. Now compared to other ultra wides, this one here gets a little tricky when we look at the actual specs. Now for me, I'm used to the 34 inch or better ultra wides that really take up a lot of space on your deck and give you that real experience, especially when you're playing a game in a 21 by nine aspect ratio. For this monitor, for it being 30 inches is somewhat smaller than the monitors that I'm used to. But actually for me, since my desk is not that big, it actually fits perfectly. And you can see that this monitor below it, which is a 32 inch 16 by nine monitor, actually has pretty much the same width across. So these kind of fit perfectly if you stack them. Secondly, let's talk about the speed, the actual Hertz. For a while, when you wanted to get into fast paced gaming, you were either going to 144 Hertz or 165. We get a little bit better than that, but the standard has kind of moved to like 240 and we're not all the way there. We're kind of stuck right in the middle at 210. But at 1080p, honestly, I don't think you're gonna miss 240. You're gonna enjoy some really smooth, buttery smooth gameplay at 210 hertz. Now, usually before I get into all of that, we'll check out the stand and all the IO. But honestly, I took this out the box, put it immediately on my wall mount, so I don't even know what the stand is like. So let's go ahead, take it down, put the stand on, and see what it's working with. Now, before we plug it in, let's go ahead and talk about a few things. You saw that I had it mounted right here are your mounts. Your joystick is over here. I'm not always the biggest fan of the joystick, especially on the back. That's what you got. I don't know if you can see it, but right here is the ports for your speakers. I'll show you a test here in a little bit, but they're monitor speakers, man. Just. Their monitor speakers. I'm not gonna say anything else. I don't know if you could tell, but the back of this is like a glossy material that they actually give you some white gloves. So if you see any smudges, that's because these gloves are still in the bag. Now your IO here is pretty standard. You have two HDMI ports. Both of these are 2.0, so you're not getting that 2.1. And these are DisplayPort 1.4. It's 2024, I would love to see upgraded ports, but for 1080p, this would be more than enough. You also have your power and you have an audio out. When it comes to your stand, it's super basic Becky. You have slight tilt forward and back. You don't have any rotation options or height adjustment. The best bet is for you to visa mount it and put it wherever you want. Now let's go ahead and plug it in. You can see that the Scepter logo on the back actually lights up. This will not provide any actual wall lighting, so I don't even know what the purpose of this is. 
but you know, hey, if somebody's looking at the back of your monitor, it looks cool. Now let's take a look at the bezels here on the front. Also, shout out to the Van Gloria C. Hova. I love you, I miss you, but that don't have anything to do with this. As far as the bezels, at the top and on the sides, we have pretty slim bezels, not the slimmest, but definitely not enough to distract you while gaming or watching content. At the bottom, there's almost nothing there except for the bottom lip here where you have the actual name of the monitor. All right, let's do a quick sound test. I'm literally sitting about two feet away from the monitor. Y'all know I like to go to the homie Ryan Little. I'm gonna play one of his beats. The PC's audio is at 100% and the monitor is at 100% as well. Let's go ahead, turn it up and see what's good. Honestly, it sounds like two speakers on the back of a monitor firing at the wall. Get you some real speakers or some headphones. Do not use your monitor's speakers. Sorry, that's just how I feel. Now, when it comes to watching content, I promise you, I didn't watch a lot of content on this monitor. I honestly use this monitor the way I think it should be used as a gaming monitor. But for some of you who this may be the only monitor you have, you may want to know about its performance when it comes to watching content. And I gotta say out of the box, even though it wasn't the brightest and especially at this price point, but it's actual picture quality was pretty solid. There's a lot of color shift in budget monitors, especially some of the Scepter ones that I've reviewed in the past. And I didn't notice any real visible blue or green tint or shading when I first pulled this out of the box. Now I'm not gonna get on here and say it's color accurate. I haven't tested it. I'm just giving it to you as someone who's actually used this monitor on a day-to-day -day basis. Jump up. Man, look at Lena, she got a new haircut. She thinks she cute. I don't wanna make out, you always do this. You always be trying to kiss me in the videos. No, we're not doing that. Let's play some games. All right, here we are in a little Call of Duty. I honestly think there's something going on with my system because this graphics card, I have a 3080 Ti, should push way more FPS than this. You wanna kill me while I'm talking to y'all. Y'all see, y'all get me in trouble. But overall, I have been playing on this monitor as my gaming monitor for the last few weeks. Got him. And I gotta say, it's just such a smooth experience. Also, I have the audio at about 50%, so it wouldn't be too loud over me talking, but you should hear some stuff in the background. Got my revenge. All right, let's start the streak. Oh, I got two, two in a row. So after all that, my final thoughts kind of coincide with the initial thoughts that I had. I actually think it's a pretty good budget option for people who are looking to get the best of both worlds. I am a big fan of the ultra wide master race. It's not for everybody, but for me, I do like gaming, especially first person shooters, playing, racing games, things like that at that 21 by nine aspect ratio. So I'm a big fan of it. Also, you get in that next level into high Hertz or high FPS gaming. You get in 210 Hertz on the low low. So you gotta keep that in mind when you're thinking about this overall monitor from Scepter. But I would love to know what you think about it down below. I love reading your comments. If you have any ideas, if you hate it, if you love it, if you hate me, if you love me, you wanna give Lena some love, it don't matter. Leave it down below in the comments. I'm gonna get up out of here, man. It's your kid, Full Dookie. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holler at your boy. Rest in peace, over.